Back on The Blend this morning, we have Wanda Williams with American Dream Realty. Good morning. Good morning. But well, let's talk about the pop-up tax and why that matters, especially when buying a property. The pop-up tax. I never that, heard of it. No. Yes. Well, it's a good reason why you haven't heard of it. You probably haven't bought a property recently. No. And one of the first things that, that happens, maybe about a year after a person buys a home, is the realtor will normally get a phone call from an angry buyer. And they're wanting to know, why did my house payment go up so much? Uh -huh. And then we have to explain to them again, because apparently the very first time when they were buying a home, they didn't get it. But when you're buying a home, the taxes on the new home become uncapped. And because right. they become uncapped, now the assessor is going to use the new, C, new state equalized value the following year to calculate your taxes. And so the pop-up tax is triggered by the transfer of property through a sale of a home. Well, how do you estimate that future property tax after you buy a property or before? Mm -hmm. That's a very good question because most people think, okay, I'm going to go on to the City of Lansing, Michigan's website, the assessor's website, and there is a category there that allows you to push the button and estimate your, your taxes, what oh. they would be for the following year. Okay. However, what I found out is that that website it is not up to date. They're still using 2022 oh. uh, SEVs uh. instead of 2023 SEVs. And so the best way to do it is to call the tax assessor oh. and get the latest millage rate that would be 2023 instead of using the one that sh is showing up on the assessor's page right now. Okay. Speaking of taxes, describe the difference between homestead and non-homestead tax. Well, a homestead tax is a person that is actually living in the home as their primary residence. You can have a secondary home, for example, in Florida. However, you can only file one homestead. The homestead taxes are going to be about 30% lower than another home, a second home that you might own. That would be called a non-homestead tax. If somebody's looking to buy their first house, what do they what do they need to get ready before they come talk to you? They need to, first of all, go and see their lender, and they need to put together their budget, mm -hmm. and they need to be prepared for that higher tax. They need to call year. you. They need <laughs> to call one. 719-8240. Yes. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for having me.